what is up? How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm back and so excited to finally be getting into special. I know it's a couple weeks old now. I went away and a bunch of albums were dropping right before I left and I didn't have time for them. But now it's time for special by Lizzo. Cause I Love You is such a freaking gorgeous album. I mean, I don't have to say it, but Lizzo has beyond incredible vocals. And I think Cause I Love You and just Lizzo's music in general, one of those artists I go to for like a confidence boost. I think Lizzo makes really great like self love music. So I don't know anything about special. I don't know any of the songs on here. So I'm very excited to see what this project brings. So here we have the track list for special. We've got one music video for about damn time. I starred three songs. To be loved, am I ready? Love that. Everybody's gay obviously. And Coldplay? I'm sorry, but I woke up this morning and I was planning on filming this. When I woke up this morning, I was like feeling so just like not good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll wait. Cause like, I didn't want to film this when I was like, not in the best mood, but then I put on cause I love you. And I like instantly felt better. Like confidence boost and just like, I don't know, Lizzo's music just makes me feel better. Makes me feel happy. Makes me feel inspired and strong, which is really cool. The first song we're getting into is The Sign. Hi, motherfucker. Did you miss what an opener. Me? Are you serious? Since 2020. True. Make that camera flash, camera Ooh. flash, camera flash. Ooh. Ooh. If you're looking for the sign, bitch, I'm in. Just a second, let me fix my wig, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that transition down into the second verse. Shit, yes. Yeah. But I can't forget Ooh, I'm yeah. that bitch, yeah. You are. I wish I fell off, but I'm back. You're back. I fell off, but I'm back. Oh, hell no, you can't get this. Oh, vocals right there, though. Oh, hell no, you can't get this. Yes! What I really love is the actual instrumental opening of the song. It just felt like we were stepping into Lizzo's world. I don't know why. It just felt like here's an introduction to where we're going. Like, doesn't it feel like we're just like stepping into her world right now? And then she says, hi, motherfucker. We already are opening with confidence, with the I deserve better energy, which I, thank you, Lizzo, I... <laughs> Yep. And I find it interesting that one of the lyrics in here is, bitch, I fell off, but I'm back. You fell off? What do you mean you fell off? When? What, did I miss something? And I think like my favorite thing lyrically is like the outro. I keep on writing these songs cause he keep on doing me wrong. And my girls keep singing along. I guess that I'm not alone. Oh, I love that. Cause I think that is one of the best things about music is the way that it makes you feel less alone. So I never really thought about it from the artist perspective. I think of it more as a listener perspective perspective like oh I listen to a song and it makes me feel less alone in what I'm feeling because I can relate to it but I guess as an artist too to like put those feelings down on paper translate them into a song and have people say yes like I, I feel that like as an artist makes you feel less alone too which is really cool but oh good opener as always the uncut version of this album reaction will be over on patreon if you want to check it out I've also got all my other uncut album reactions over there I've got tons of exclusive reactions I'm sending you guys postcards you can get these shout outs there's a bunch of stuff there if you want to check check it out but if you don't that's totally fine your support on here is more than enough but a special extra thank you to everyone who has gone over to patreon to help support me without you guys i couldn't do this every day and i'm very 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 grateful that you guys give me this opportunity it is literally thanks to you guys that i can do this so thank you so much and let's keep going next we are getting into the music video for about damn time this i'm assuming is the single from the album or at least one of the singles from the album considering it has a music video let's get into it did that say stressed and sexy support group when we last met, I asked you guys to prepare a poem that compares something that makes you feel stressed to something that makes you feel sexy. Lizzo, would you honor us by doing <laughs> the first? Oh, okay! Oh, she... <laughs> I like the beat of this already. Bitch, a clock, yeah, it's thick, dirty. Ooh, ooh. I've been through a lot, but I'm still flirty. Love you. Oh, I 
so many feelings. I have so many feelings. Do it. Man, a woman to pump me up. <gasps> no, I'm a neat like two shots in my cup. Wanna get up, wanna get down. Mm, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna be all right, okay. <laughs> Not Benjamin Moore. Please tell me all these people are gonna start dancing. Please. It's about damn time. Woo! Not the flute in the pool. Know what time it is. Uh. I'm coming out tonight. I'm coming out tonight. Ah! All right. It's about damn time. I'm coming out tonight. That is not I'm what I saw coming. But I'm here I'm for it. <laughs> this energy. This energy. Everyone needs a little bit of that energy in their life. It is about damn time. There's so much here already that I love. Are you kidding me? Okay. When I said, oh, I hope they all start dancing, that's not what I expected to happen, but I'm also like not mad about it. You know what I mean? Turn up the music, turn down the lights. I got a feeling I'm gonna be all right. It's about damn time. I love that. I love that for her as well. I give a fuck way too much. Lizzo, me too. Me too. Next, we are getting into girls. that she changed it from where my girls at to where my ladies at i wonder what the reasoning behind that is it's an empowering anthem about women sharing their love and power with each other with a beat that samples girls by beastie boys i don't know that song so i definitely would not have picked up on that cool i think this one's cute it's not my favorite song by lizzo i mean it's fine but it's it's cute. Next, we are listening to Be Loved, Am I Ready? I'm super interested by where this song is gonna go. I love the title. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about to have a panic attack. I did the work, Ooh. it didn't work. I Ooh. Did that, that truth, it hurts. That damn it hurts. Truth hurts, yup. Yeah. Why do I feel like this? What happened to me? Oh, oh, oh. Supposed to love somebody else when I don't like myself. Like, oh, ah. guess he squeezed my belly. I'm too embarrassed to say I like it. Girl, is this Woo. my boo? You found me. I was fed up back down. with the fantasy. Little clap. What you wanna do? Think I'm ready? Ooh, think you like that? Think you like that? Let me know. No, I love the layering of this. There's so much here. It's very big. It's very grand. It's very powerful. This one, I love. I love this one for a few different reasons. One, <laughs> relatable content. Also, it has that like kind of bigger feel. Not super similar to, but my favorite song off Cause I Love You is Heaven Help Me because I just think it has a lot of that like fun, big energy. And that's what this song had. How am I supposed to love somebody else when I don't like myself? I mean, I feel like we've all been there. Have we not? And I like how it's like, she's saying, am I ready to be loved? Cause I want it. Cause I want to be ready, but am I? Because I've, I've done this before. I've gotten into these situations, right? And then I realize I'm not ready. It's like, oh, and then yeah, everything gets messed up as we know. Am I ready? I want to be ready. And then by the end she says, I don't know why, but I'm ready. Yes. Next, we are listening to I Love You Bitch. I have a feeling this is gonna be a friend song, right? That's what it feels like. I'm under pressure and it's all on me. Ooh, Don't wanna stress her, but you're all I need. Ooh, let me make a list. Cause you're beautiful and smart, fucking talented. I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. This is not where I thought the song was going, and I love it. Oh my god. Yeah, this song. I love you, bitch. 
Oh, <laughs> I never oh. thought I'd say this. Oh, was it over already? Dude. No, th that is not how I expected this song to go in the slightest, but I love it. And I love it as a follow up to To Be Loved, Am I Ready? Because it's the whole song is about like, am I ready to be loved? And then this song, it's I never thought I'd say this, but I love you, bitch. Love. I also just like expected this one to be like more upbeat and more intense. I don't know with the title like I love you bitch I don't know if that's what I expected and it was kind of like a little more chill and slow and sweet and I loved it I love you bitch came from a tweet and it's not the same as truth hurts So don't come at me for royalties Twitter shortly I don't know what that means. Maybe you guys do shortly after rumors with Cardi B dropped Cardi tweeted that she wanted to hear a love song from you next and I was like, okay if Lizza did a love song. What would it be? I love you bitch. It was one one of those rare times where I had the title before the song. You know what? I love that because she's like, if, if I did a love song, what would it be? I love you, bitch. And she ran with it. Okay, another one of my favorites? I think so. Oh, special's next. Okay, title track. Title track is next. Woke up this morning to somebody in a video talking about something I posted in a video. Ooh. If it wasn't me, then would you even get offended? Or is it just because mm. I'm black and heavy? I don't hear me mm. though. I don't wow. that. Fame is pretty new, but I've been used to people judging me. That's why I move the way I move and why I'm so in love with me. Good. That right? Oh, that's beautiful. How could you throw fucking stones if you ain't been through a pain? That's why we feel so alone. That's why we feel so ashamed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lyrics. Lizzo! Somebody in a video talking about something I posted in a video. If it wasn't me, then would you even get offended? Or is it because I'm black and heavy? You don't hear me though. And she's right. And she's right. Fame is pretty new, but I've been used to people judging me. That's why I move the way I move and why I'm so in love with me. And then she goes on from there to say, in case you're feeling any of these same ways, in case you're feeling alone, I just want you to know you're special. And then she says, I'm so glad that you're still with us broken, but damn, you're still perfect. I wonder if this song is inspired by any one person, any individual that Lizzo knows, or if it's really just like a general song, kind of for her, her fans and for her listeners. See, this is, this is what I mean, you know, like she has just the most like empowering, confidence boosting music. She is one of those handful of artists that I just see as like the most empowering artists. She is one of them. Next, we're listening to Break Up Twice. I talked to my girlfriend just today. They reminded me of when you had me crying in my car. Mm-hmm. Every reason they mad at you is true. Ooh, Lizzo. <laughs> what we Ooh. promise to make up even if it's going to take us. Oh, this is not the song I need right now. Okay, so this is a song that's gonna come for me on a personal level today. Thank you, Lizzo. I was actually thinking about this this morning. Uh, probably because I think about it a lot uh, lately. But like, I have, a, I have a tendency to like forgive people probably a little easier and quicker than I should. Sometimes your friends are like, hey, don't, don't do that. Don't go near that person again, but you ignore them and you go anyway. And you're like, is this right? Because all the shit that you did to me in the past? I don't know. Literally Really opening line I talked to my girlfriends yesterday they reminded me of when you had me crying in my car <laughs> yeah this one this one hits a little too close right now that's what I'll say <laughs> Lisa lays down an ultimatum between her and her future partner revealing how she wants things in her relationship to run and she's not a fan of breaking up twice Damn. the next song is oh everybody's gay you know she's not wrong Ooh. 1 a.m. and the Ooh. night just keeps on calling 
love that. This feels very like disco-y. Very disco. Not the witching hour. Setting a, a very vivid scene in my head right now. Ooh. Oh, what does that remind me of? Oh, this reminds me of something. I don't know what it is though. cool because it set a very specific scene in my head of just a whole disco vibe with like costume party but it just was like this this whole very fun disco vibe that I really like I love the second verse there's a Mona Lisa moaning in the room tell a sexy nurse to meet me in the loo sisters drinking bitches brew a mister got a monster too it's just like all of these costumes characters um it's getting freaky do you want to leave the ball i love it i wanted to write a fantasy song like one of those hollywood songs where you're taken away to a picture that i'm painting a dream sequence kind of thing exactly exactly you know that's literally where i was it's very cinematic i wanted to write about this wild costume party where everybody gets together and has a good time literally that's what was in my head Ooh. okay so next is naked Welcome to my body. I know it's nice to meet it. Fantasy's been written mm. about the beauty and the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Can't all the conversations wow. say I should feel away? I don't care what people think or spin or sway. We can run away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come make this body feel safe. Wow, her voice on this is really pretty. I'm Oh, instrumental. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guitar. God vocals because like she has these really really strong powerful vocals I mean the opening track cuz I love you on cuz I love you is one of the best examples of that <laughs> That opening is still one of the best openings that's ever existed ever But in this one we kind of are exploring more of her like light very light pretty kind of vocal I mean the stronger vocal comes in more at the end, but I just like love what she does with this instrumental is really nice, too Oh, it's just like a mm, mm. Mm -hmm. You know? Next is birthday girl. Okay. Yes. Yes. Is it your birthday girl? Cause oh. you look This one I'm gonna like. Is it this one I'm gonna like. Okay, wait, no, I need to know, are these like her friends in the middle? I don't know who those people are. If you guys know, let me know because I don't see like, I assume it's her friends because she talks about how she loves her friends and loves celebrating their birthdays and all of that. That was so cute, it's so fun. I love the upbeat nature of that song. Next is a song called If You Love Me.
Wish I could fall in love with me so easily like you did Being good to me like I am someone else seems so backhanded Background vocals are gorgeous. Oh, yeah. This is so beautiful, Lizzo! Mm, that's so beautiful! That one was gorgeous, both lyrically and instrumentally and vocally. Like, it's, it's kind of like a mix between a beautiful, sweet song, but also like really sad. When the world can't love me, to my face, when the mirror lies and starts to break, hold me close, don't let me run away, don't be afraid. This was the first song I wrote for the album and it was something I needed to get off my chest. It's about all of the times I go on stage and talk to the crowd. I'm like, you guys show me so much love, so much support, and I wanna thank you for supporting a woman who looks like me, a big black woman from Houston, Texas. If you could show the same energy to people who look like me, but who aren't Lizzo, who aren't dancing on stage and entertaining you, if you could show it to a woman on the street, show her some love and respect. Wow, I love this one. I think it's very beautiful. And I think it's one of the most important messages on the album, especially reading what she says about, you know, when she's on stage. So we've made it to the final song on this album called Coldplay. Again, I just don't know where this song's gonna go. I'm so interested. That vocal! What a like happy feeling song to end on. My defense mechanism kicks in, makes me run, run away from the real. It's easy to cut you down while I close me up instead of telling you how I feel. I just know it. Oh, this song makes me so smiley. I love it. Wow, I love that to finish because it is such like a good, happy feeling vibe. And the fact that it like actually uses sections of yellow. I freaking love that so much. I don't know, there's something in the way she says just like, and I just know it that in this life, my love is you. I just think that's so sweet. But in verse two, that section is too real. My defense mechanism kicks in, makes me run, run away from the real. It's easy to cut you down while I close me up instead of telling you how I feel. Oh, Lizzo. No, oh, I like this interpretation. Lizzo opens up her heart and dedicates this song to her significant other, which she spent the whole album figuring out if she's ready for it. So there it is. We have finished Special by Lizzo. And I think like my first big takeaway right now is simply that this feels so different from her first project. I feel like it just has like a, a very different overall feel than the first project, which is really cool because like it depends on your mood, right? Like you can be like, okay, I wanna listen to Lizzo. Am I in this mood or this mood? Special or, cause I love you. This one, it had, I don't know, maybe more of a poppy kind of feel. But the one thing that I do think like stays very true is the self-love, the confidence, the lifting other people up. That is the same on both albums, which I'm really happy about because I do love that about the first project and this one as well. When it comes to like which project would I say I like better, it's too early to say. It's definitely too early to say and I think it, it's it's impossible for me to say because I think there are a lot of songs on here that I think I would say I like better than songs on Cause I Love You, but the same would be true vice versa. When it comes to my favorites, I don't even know. I think, okay, About Damn Time, I love the message of that song. I love you, bitch. Oh, that was just nothing. I did not expect that song to be what it was and I love that. Everybody's Gay was so cool because of like the cinematic nature of it. Like being able to see everything, just like she said she was going for, which she did perfectly because that's exactly how I felt. I saw the whole party in my head. Coldplay, obviously, I love because I like Coldplay, um, but this album as a whole is really fun. If you guys want to see my full ranking of this album, you can check it out over on Instagram. I've been doing album ranking reels over there. It's been a lot of fun. So if you want to see my full ranking of special, go over to at the.caitlin.marie over on Instagram and you can see it over there if you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching this, for hanging out with me. 
and of course for supporting Lizzo. She deserves all the love in the world. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.